Hey guys, I want to show you a little trick today um, that would help that can help you with your cork on your neck if it gets uh, kind of old and um, your mouthpiece doesn't fit on it properly anymore, uh, meaning it, it slides um, like this is an old um, uh, an old cork and um, recently uh, in the middle of a tour I I was moving around every day and I it's very hard to find a, a shop so I uh, remembered the uh, this old trick I learned you see how you can see that um, where my mouthpiece usually is there's a line there see that? that's where it normally sits and uh, sometimes you're a little bit uh, in, in front of it and if you push just slightly it'll it'll move without you wanting it to and it'll It'll cause you to go out of tune. It did me, and see how see how it just it doesn't even it there, there's no um, plumpness to this cork. It's all uh, squeezed in from so many years of being used. Um, normally, this is a new cork. Um, normally, you see that it you have to grab it like that and twist it on it's pretty firm you want it really really um firm and and then you know you could use uh you know about cork grease you put on cork grease um which allows you to slide it in easier until it sort of on its own maintains that exact uh not too hard and not too easy um you know firmness for you to slip your mouthpiece on and off but what happens after a few years is it just doesn't do that anymore. This cork, uh, it's not supple anymore. It's just old and worn. So here's what you do. Um, you know, you ideally you you would replace it eventually. But if you don't want to or if you can't get to a shop in a day or a week, like what happened to me, uh, you get a uh, lighter. Right, heat will expand the cork, so you're you're kind of fixing it temporarily. Although it can last a while, um, but not a long while. So um, you just go under. Obviously, you don't want to burn the cork. You're rotating. You're rotating, 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 um, because. First of all, you don't want to burn it. Second of all, you want to heat uh, the entire cork or the, the part up to that line, which is not uh, puffed out the, uh, like that three quarter, the last little quarter of my cork there, right? And it doesn't need a lot. It's easy to burn. <laughs> so, I mean, it's not a big deal because you're eventually going to replace this cork anyways, but... It's going to help you uh, in the short term. See, it's, you see that? It's not, it's very hard to put on now. It really has expanded my cork. And I can put it far, far away from this line. And it doesn't move. And um, to me, what happens if I'm at home, just uh, going over some stuff or practicing or whatever. I'm not putting a lot of energy into my playing, but I find when I'm, you know, performing um, with a group, I put a lot more into it. So this uh, this is easier to move uh, in those cases. And so my cork was at a point where it wasn't holding its proper position to uh, maintain my my intonation. So uh, this is uh, a good uh, temporary fix.